Hello, this is Taya Gurken with Peghead Nation, and I'm here with a very, very cool guitar uh, built by California luthier Rick Turner. Uh, Rick Turner, um, it's fair to say, is a legend among luthiers. He started working in the late 60s, uh, was part of Alembic Guitars, has got his start building guitars for the Grateful Dead, and his Model 1 electric guitar, of course, has been Lindsey Buckingham's primary guitar for decades. and. Um, it's lesser known that he's also been building some acoustic guitars, kind of on the side to his regular electric guitar production. This is one of them. There are very few of these around. Um, one of the first guitars Rick built in this style was a guitar made for Henry Kaiser, who took it to a project on a project uh, to record an album in Antarctica. And uh, this guitar was built in 2002, very similar to Henry's guitar, uh, different inlay, some different reinforcements and stuff. Um, but it's uh, essentially a, a jumbo size guitar. Uh, this, in this case, it's built with uh, Engelmann spruce and Honduran rosewood back and sides. One of the most unique aspects of this guitar is the neck joint, which was inspired by vintage Ho Orm guitars. And I'll get back to that in a moment. As you can tell, the guitar has a slotted headstock. It uses Rick's pretty distinctive shape. It's got vintage style and closed tuners. Um, and uh, Rick's Renaissance style bridge he uses a similar bridge shape on his Renaissance acoustic electric guitars. And inside the guitar, we have some I-beam shape uh, wooden back braces and some carbon reinforcements that are difficult to see from the outside, but there are two rods that go from the sort of uh, fingerboard extension down inside the body and really reinforces this area of the top. Back to the neck joint. Um, the Ho Orm style neck joint really floats on three little points so that there's actually a gap between the uh, heel of the neck and the body. And uh, it hooks in on this side, rests on uh, two adjustable points here with the fingerboard extension being completely floating off the, uh, off the body. This not only allows removal of the neck uh, for maintenance or even travel for that matter, uh, it can be completely adjusted in terms of the angle uh, in, on every axis, really. It's, it's kind of a brilliant design. Um, and uh, to my knowledge, Rick is the only one who has taken this original Ho Orm design, which was done in the early 20th century, um, and uh, has done a modern adaptation of this design. So as you can tell, uh, this Brick Turner guitar is a very unique guitar, uh, much unlike any other flat top guitar out there between the neck joint, the graphite reinforcements, just the general design. It's a very, it's fair to say, unique instrument. Uh, let me play it a little bit more. I'm in uh, open G tuning with a low C here to kind of see what the range of the guitar can really do. And um, we'll take it out from there. So that's the 2002 Rick Turner custom flat top guitar. Very interesting instrument. We're thankful to Mighty Fine Guitars for letting us uh, shoot video of this instrument. And uh, please come back to Peghead Nation for more gear demos. My name is Taya Gurken.